Hey guys, welcome to my wig collection series, the colored, uh, the color wig series. Some of them, some of my videos, I haven't even done an intro because I've just been gunning through. So if you saw this outfit in five videos, you know, I've been gunning, bulk, bulk, batching, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everything and please like subscribe comment below tell me what your favorite color was tell me what your favorite wig was tell me if you're gonna get any of these wigs because i'm gonna try to link them down below and so now we're gonna go ahead to the purples okay so get ready we got seven purples it's gonna be a little bit longer but believe me it's worth it <laughs> all right stay tuned all right, so we have our first purple wig, and this is from It's a Wig. I do not have the card for this one, but I will try to look it up. Um, it is gone through the ringer, okay? So you know I had to spray it with some oil sheen, and now I'm going to lightly brush through it with the dimming brush. I'm not going to go deep in it. I'm just going to cover, do the cover, and then I'm going to use my fingers to go through it because, again, that's how you keep your wigs if you brush them all the way through and brush them hard you're not going to have these wavy curly wigs okay so i'm going to go ahead and go through this one and then i'll be back with it on um just so you can know it has no combs in it because it's one of my 20 dollars specials okay all right so this is your first time watching one of my videos and you heard me say 20 dollars special i go to the beauty supply store and I go into this aisle where they have all the $20 and $30 wigs and I look for the ones that are colored because people don't buy those. They think they're party wigs, they think they're cosplay costume wigs. I think they're everyday wigs. So here I am showing you how to wear them. All right, so this one, I probably did do some cutting to the, um, this looks like I cut the bang, which I do often, okay? But I'm gonna lift it up a little bit okay then i'm going to take remember i told you about the wave so this waves all the way up so i'm not going to brush it there i'm just going to take my fingers and you can put a little bit of oil sheen on this one okay and you're going to just take your hands through it and that's how you make it you know that's how you make it last okay so i'll be back i'm going to do this whole wig and then i'll be back and show you it how it looks all right, we're going to go light to dark. So I have another one that's a Dashley. I love the Dashleys. Okay, they are so nice. Okay, so this is a Dashley. Sensational. It is lavender T4, lavender lace unit, and deep side part. I'm trying to see what her name is. There's the information there. Hopefully, I'll flip it. Lace unit 7. That's her name. All right. Now, I put her in a ponytail. So, let me take her out of a ponytail. That means she has been through the ringer. As you can see, she's been through it. I love her. Look at that brown, that T4 scalp. All right. <laughs> and she has a comb in the back. And she has two combs in the front. They're fighting the fan right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put her on. All right, so she has a, a side T. And I cut her. I can tell. So she her bang did not come like that, okay? This we all know. All right, and this one I, I do brush all the way down to the bottom because it's straight. Okay, so I didn't cut her too much because she still has some some length in the front normally when I cut I cut deep right here in the front so I didn't cut her right there and so she's she's worse for wear but you see she's brushing right out I put a little oil sheen in it just a little don't want it to be greasy because this is silky hair right, let's bring this other part to the side and so I cut right here and gave it a little bit of layer bang because I love that layer bang look Okay, so I'm going to finish brushing her out, and then we'll look at her again. All right, guys, so here she is, okay? Look at her. She's giving scalp, but let me pull down so she don't get my alopecia. <laughs> All right, 
so look at look at that color look at that t4 oh it's beautiful with that lavender i mean i love her i love them all they're like my little doll babies <laughs> Okay, so if you ever thinking about doing lavender hair, girl, you can do it, okay? I'm telling you, you can do a lavender hair. Just think of it as a light blonde. Nobody's going to say nothing. Okay, it's like a smoky gray. If I ever went gray, I would tint my hair. I would tint it blue. I would tint it purple. I would tint it pink. I sure enough would, I would tone it. I would give. All right, let's get to the next one. All right, so now we're going to go to our shorter, darker purples, and then we're going to go to our longer, darker purples, okay? Let's go to shorter, All right? I'm going to start with this one right here. This one is like a burgundy. So it is an instant fashion wig. It's a dark burgundy, okay? So that's more like a reddish, red purple, okay? And this is like a shag style. Okay, and this is sensational. Okay. She has, sorry, no combs in her. And I like her because she is like a rock star shag. And she had like short hair right here. And then she, and you can like take it and I, I take it and I like pull it down like this. And I give myself a little curl right there. And then this right here, that is giving all facts of life. Love it. And if I said facts of life and you was like, take the good, you take the bag, take it all in there, you had facts of life. I know your age. You're aging like me. <laughs> so this is it. And so, I mean, it is like, you can pull it down a little bit, give it a little bit of smoke like that over your eye. You know, you can fluff it up a little bit. Okay, you can really wear this, okay? You can pull it up, okay? Do like that. And you can give, it it's, It has some looks, okay? It gives looks. And then in the back, it's just like a doobie, like a doobie wrap, wrap back, okay? But I love her. She's like an easy breezy cover girl. Let me see. Maybe if I turn it a little bit more, I can give it, yeah, there we go. Full bang. All right and if I really wanted to take it like ooh, ooh, she's cute she is giving she's giving she is serving looks okay all right let me stop because I will play with her <laughs> all right let's get to the next one all right and so this next one in the Amazon wig Okay, it's what people use for cosplay, and it has no combs in it, and I'll link it, okay, because I don't have anything on it. Let me pull this down, okay? Now, this one, you got to finesse, because, again, it's cosplay, okay? It has the tail in the back, okay, and it has the layers, okay? It is certified shag. It's shiny, so you're definitely going to have to... See, it's like, it's, it's uh, with Magna, Manga, Manga, that's what it's called. Yeah, that's the look it's given. Okay, see? Okay, so I'm going to fix her up, and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is what it's giving, okay? It is definitely something you have to finesse. So you see how I just, see, it's, it's flappy like this. I just take it, and I take the flaps and put it under here. So now you see what it's giving. And then I take this, take a little bit. Just take a little bit out. Just one little bit out. Maybe not. Because they don't know how to act. But see? Put it behind my ears. See how it's giving mullet? And this right here, I would have to press down. So you get like... You go ahead and you put the flat, um, the um, pressing iron on. But then you turn it off okay and then you press it okay but you see how what it's giving now right it's giving nice mullet okay it's giving serving mullet cuteness okay all right and then you just take some of the shine with some dry shampoo so if you want to see me finesse it all right you know what to do drop a line down below 
comment. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. If you are still with me, you know you are a super glam, the bomb, super glam squad OG member, okay? Make sure you drop a purple heart below. Let me know you're still here. Make sure you tell me which one is your favorite, okay? Hey guys, so our next one is very special to me. It is the color bomb. I love the color bombs, okay? And this one is called Mystique and it's indigo violet, okay? And this one, I kept it in the netting because I love it so much. It still is braided and look at the special glitter in it. Yes, it is giving glitter, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put it on. It has the two combs in the front. It has the T parting here and it has the comb in the back, all right? All right, let's put her on. I'm gonna put her on with the middle, I think, no, the side. She's the side part. Go ahead and put the combs in. You gotta put the combs in for this one because it has to sit flat to the head in order to look believable. Okay. You see, it has to look like that. And I try to make it go as far as I can take it. And then I do this in the front. All right, let me fix her up a little bit and then I'll be back. All right, so I have some sad news on this one, okay? The more I pull at it, the more it gets messed up with the braid. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the braid out. You're gonna be with me. I didn't wanna take the braid out, but I can rebraid it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out so you can kinda see what this looks like with the braid out. The braid is so pretty though, it makes it look so fairy like and so I'm taking it out so now you can see it out oh but that's so pretty though and see so you see the color on the inside and now it's wavy because I took the braid out that's cute I'm definitely gonna have to like do something to it all right, let's take this braid out. I think I'm going to re-braid it, though. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go along the side. And I'm just going to re-braid all the braid. But it still looks pretty like this, though. It's still giving me, like, magical rainforest. It's almost like... Look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. I like it like that too. I wish these were on the outside, but I knew they did that because it was supposed to be braided. But I mean, you can still give it. Let me see, let's try it. Okay, so not that we had any time in this video because it's long. Let's just go ahead and do a little braid, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take the front and I'm gonna go ahead and make just a regular braid. I'll make it a little loose so I can poof it out. Because what they did was they basically just took the braid and then they did like a waterfall braid and they just put like hair in between it. And you can probably make like a couple of these braids so it can look really whimsical, okay? And then you take a rubber band and wrap up the bottom. And again, I made this loose for a reason. So two things I could do. I can just pull some hair through it or I can just open it up. I can poof it up, okay? I got braid number one. So let's do braid number two. And I could make it thicker so you can kind of see but I'm not going to make it too thick. Maybe a little bit more thicker. Alright, so I'm going to braid this one. Got these nails on, so don't be judging my braiding. 
I actually am a good braider. I do a lot of braids for weddings. All right. And I'm trying to make it really loose because I'm going to poof it out. That's how you poof it out when you make it loose like that. You don't want to make it too tight and then try to poof it out. Okay, let me grab a rubber band. Again, nails. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it and I'm going to poof it out. Okay, so when it goes, it looks like this. Isn't that pretty? Okay, same with this one. I'm going to push it out. All right, I'll be back. All right, so I took it and I connected it in the back. And then you see that it has like the bigger braid. And I can actually make that bigger if I want to. Um, but then now you can see the glitter Okay, so I just made it a little bit more whimsical and then I can also take some baby hairs and do baby hairs like cut it Okay, so you can you can really doll this up and really make it really pretty and I know Cosplay costume, but I wore this with a beautiful dress I had like a lilac dress and wore it to church <laughs> It was stunning and people were like wow, it looks amazing. So all right, so let's move to our next one. All right, guys, we only got two more to go. <laughs> All right, and so this one right here, again, it was in, in the $20 spot, okay? So this one, it's a Vanessa wig, okay? And it is Atlanta 38 um, matte purple, M-A-T purple, okay? So she is stunning I'm telling you she is stunning look at her isn't she gorgeous I mean if it was ginger it'd be given brave all right she has a tea parting she has two combs she has the comb in the back let's put her on because it's not that much work all right let's give her a middle I'll show you what middle looks like Okay, so this is what middle looks like. She is long. Okay, she is full. Okay, but let me give you side. Yes, this is why I do side all the time. Because I love the way it looks. Look at that. And I don't wear curly often, as you can, you can tell by my wig collection. But I'm starting to get into it. Like, I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel curly. And I did cut her. Okay, so she didn't come like this because I did wear her on the side. And I just felt she needed some, see? I gave her just a little bit. Okay? And again, you finger comb her. Pull her apart. You finger comb her. You don't put a lot of heavy oils in her. Just a little bit of light oil. You do not foam her to death. I hate when I see people put foam and synthetic. It's crazy. All right. All right. Last but not least. And so thank you for hanging with me. We have a main concept wig. I do not have her name. I'm going to have to look her up. Okay. But you see she's purple. And then she goes down to black. Okay. And so she is has two combs. She has some scalp here. Okay, I don't know what that um, dimension is, but you see she has three combs in the front. Um, I guess she's a glueless, and then she has one in the back. All right? And so, um, she's not too bad in the back. So I'm not going to brush her. I don't know how I feel about brushing wigs. Let me put a... Since I had this wig grip, I really don't have to, like... Um, put the combs in just put the grip on okay so I see that she has like a part so the part could be like middle like 
I guess you could do, but like you can do anything really, but you know me, let's do this side since we did the other side with the other wig. Let me fix her up. All right, so I, I did this side because we did the other side with the other wig. And again, you can cut some baby hairs in the front and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and brush her just a little. Again, we don't like brushing. We can just finger comb, we will do that. Finger and twirl, finger and twirl. That restores the curl. That rhymes, that rhymes, I got bars. All right, so we just finger comb her. Especially since she's that silky hair. This is not yak. This is silk. So silky hair breaks off and nets real bad if you just keep on brushing it. See how I just did that? Look, look at the difference. Okay? So if you don't learn nothing else from these videos, you'll learn how to save your wigs. Save your silks. Rule first rule of saving them is stop brushing them and putting all that product in them they are plastic not real hair okay look at that that pretty all right so i hope you enjoyed this this one was a little longer i had more purple hair because my husband loves purple and i noticed i said i love pink and he loves purple and i happen to have more purple wigs and I have pink hmm who's trying to please their husband I am <laughs> all right so um and it's a neat story because that's how he found me I was wearing purple hair and so that sealed the deal there <laughs> so I try to keep it fresh guys how to keep it fresh all right <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it make sure you like subscribe comment please let me know which one you enjoyed or ones you enjoyed the most and if you like them and you want to purchase them please shop the amazon links they are affiliate codes i do make a small percentage and that goes right back into my channel because as you see i have a problem these have been from a long time so this is not something I just did this is not a haul this is a collection and so I'm hoping it encourages you to want to get out there and try some more colors try to add some color and some spunk to your wig closet all right so thank you my next series is going to be on the wigs that I actually made and I will be having those wigs listed on my, in my store and you can order those wigs not those exact wigs but I will make another wig for you in that style all right bye and be blessed